Hold on, I'm drinking my tea now. Let him drink his tea, shall we? All right, be? all right, I'll drink my coffee. <laughs> my coffee. I didn't actually okay. take a drink. I was just, you know, oh, so now I'm done for now. H. He has to take it. Wait, do you have a drink though? Yeah, I have Two? water. Okay, water, tea, coffee. It just mug in his picture is steaming. It's just water. <laughs> it's water. It's water. Wow, water, Hot no water. Yeah. Okay, can we sink now? Yeah. No. I'm enjoying this conversation <laughs> Three, outside two, of the podcast. Three, two, one. I didn't know when to clap. <laughs> I was I... delayed. Is there an intro? Hello and welcome to the... Shut up. <laughs> Hello, I'm Shovel and welcome to Am I the Podcast? The podcast where we read Am I the Butthole Posts. Do you and hear how take... like serious she gets, Ollie, after I like inti- like try imitating her voice? Yeah, she got all <laughs> she got all me, sad. Kind of cool. <laughs> In front of my friends. Hello, I am <laughs> Shelby, and welcome to my channel. So what's this podcast? So we, today we have Ollie uh, as our guest today on the podcast. And I was trying to think of what the theme should be for him, because we have a little theme every time. Last time we had Sneak, he was, he read married He has stories. children, child. He's, he's well, going to have child. <laughs> oh, uh, he's but getting he's one. But he's married. He's the married guy. For Ollie, I was like, I don't know what theme to have for Ollie, because I, maybe we do. I don't do anything. <laughs> what's your thing? He exists. It's, I do yeah. just exist. I do just like vibe throughout the universe, but I do it in a fun way. That's what I thought. And I tried looking for music stories because at first I was like, he's, he's like the music guy, but yeah. there aren't a lot of them. But then I thought, oh, he's a funny guy. And I got stories <laughs> about jokes gone wrong. <laughs> jokes that are they the butthole or are they not the butthole for making a joke? Okay. Oh, I like yeah. that. I looked up music niche. ones. Okay. that But that worked. I told you this. Wait, did you? She I told did. me this. <laughs> I like that I'm the funny guy like no other guest is classes as a funny guy. Well, I was like, oh, he's one of the funny guys. One of the funniest guys I know. Wow, you got well, low standards. That's yeah, crazy. for real. <laughs> <laughs> what if I have the wrong opinion, though? That's my worry. I mean, we have all the wrong opinions. I'll cut it out later. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> we actually record for three hours, but Shelby makes it a 20-minute video. <laughs> the other two and a half hours are us just being wrong. <laughs> Reasonable. <laughs> reasonable <laughs> <laughs> have you ever picked one where it's more divisive because i feel that should be where the debate comes in in this podcast no i'm trying to tell you how you do your podcast but i think there should be somewhere like you guys don't you can't decide i try to find ones that aren't so clear cut but that, that's not actually the majority of am i the butthole post. have you considered asking more butthole on oh we should get a guess that's what do you think you're here for <laughs> like a, a good <laughs> i've got a lot of Jokes gone wrong posts. You would imagine there's a lot of times where somebody said a joke and they're like, was this a was this a butthole move of me to make this joke? I was scrolling through it and there's one that's AITA for not allowing a second season of my podcast. <laughs> Us when it yeah. was done with season one. Am I the butthole for joking about my friend's girlfriend even though he's touchy about it? Which, right off the bat, if you already know he's touchy about it. Yeah, yes. but sometimes that's funny, though. Sometimes that's funny. <laughs> but what if it's funny, though? Okay. okay. Me and my friend... You don't have to say okay. I, I'm okay. saying okay yeah, so you, that I can I'll, start We reading. need you to shut can the you, hell up, all right? We need <laughs> you to shut Wait, up. Okay, I'm, I'm posting on my day. Butthole. <laughs> <laughs> my friend said okay, so I said okay in response, and they told me to shut the hell up. <laughs> me and my friend group are pretty standard. All 20 to 25 male college kids. We play around and make jokes about each other, and it's all in good fun. That being said, it's still pretty necessary for us to be thick-skinned. That already sounds like a friend group I don't want to be a part of. I think it's most but is boy that like friend a boy, group. Is it's that a, a boy boyfriend thing? group thing, I think. So you, just, yeah. you guys just say mean things People to are just each other and you have to, to be okay other, with it? Yeah, yeah boy, boys are much more mean to each other. But like, it, And then they talk about the male loneliness epidemic. It's because you're mean to each other. Yeah. Yes. That's why most of my friends are girls. <laughs> <laughs> We're That's, nice to yeah, people. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of sad. Is that how it is like in, in high school? Like you just... Yeah. It's the same in England, yeah, pretty much. It's like, yeah. I don't know. You have a friend group, but everyone's like kind of like every joke is kind of like at the expense of someone. Oh, wait, Shelby just turned 30. Happy late birthday, Shelby. <laughs> Happy <laughs> birthday, Shelby. I was, oh, did you not send me a happy I'm birthday? I'm the youngest person No, I rated on you on your birthday or your birthday stream oh, yeah, when yeah. I said that. But like, I was yeah, just I'm thinking about it. Now. Like I was like, I'm almost 30 <laughs> now. I don't want to deal oh, with yeah. that anymore. And I was like, oh, yeah, you're 30 now. <laughs> Little jabs could be funny. Also, Little jabs. I, as long as you know it's people okay. can handle it and certain people can't handle it. And I think that's fine as well. Yeah. I do think I make a lot of jokes, I think, with H. Me and you will poke fun at each other. It's but a- I have never felt like we crossed any lines. H just called you old. 
He did. He did just call me old. But also, I'm four months younger than her. So it's, yeah, that's why it's funny. <laughs> Whenever we make fun of each other, it's both of us making fun of ourselves at the same time. And if you ever said something that I was like, "Ooh, actually, that one hurt my feelings too close," I would just say it, and then you probably wouldn't do it anymore. Ooh, Which is know. healthy and good, and people should He's do such that. Such good friendship. People should do that. With guy groups, though, if you do that, like they will make they fun make of fun you. They make fun of you more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think that the people that never grow out of it and I still have friend groups like male friend groups like that are the same people that think that you cannot be friends with a woman. <laughs> yeah. And also some of them go to prison and that's fine because they'll come out one day. From where I've lived, like living in Chicago, it felt very more fratty and more like this friend group than living in Los Angeles. Los Angeles was very open and everyone was extremely nice to each other. They might mug you, but they wouldn't be rude to you. <laughs> <laughs> they would be nice about it. Yeah. In a way, Hull was like that. Oh, no, Hull was fine. Are you from Hull? Hull, yeah, Hull in North England, I know, where I, know I where went Hull. to uni. I was about to what, ask where you know that was. I, know, I know where Hull is. How do you know where Hull? I know stuff about geography now. I've traveled the world. I've been <laughs> Hull. You, you've, tra- you've traveled to <laughs> Hull? I've never been to Hull, but I know about Hull. When H comes, I'll take him to Magna in Sheffield. And oh, would be great. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> in the mall. Not Sheffield. Anything I enjoy that. taking friends H, from H, you want to know something about Sheffield? What? <laughs> There's only a mall it's there. not just a mall. <laughs> it's <laughs> really <laughs> just <laughs> a mall. <laughs> All right, where did I leave off? We were I don't know. Senses. Who is the butthole? <laughs> we, yeah. we haven't read it. One of us, let's call him E, male 21, has been dating this girl, J, female 21, since our senior year of high school. But here's the thing. E is a pretty attractive guy, maybe like an eight or a nine. In the nicest way possible, Jay is sitting at a solid three or four. This along with the fact that E is funny and outgoing and Jay is super quiet and never really talks to anybody, spawned a lot of jokes among our friend group that they don't belong together and that E could do way better. Oh, no, that's, this is really bad. <laughs> this Who is could really possibly shit. be the butthole here? <laughs> Already this feels just made putting up. This numbers. Feels like... Yeah, this does feel <laughs> made, made up. Actually, this a lot of times they probably are made up. Mean, to even ask this question of being like, I don't know if this is okay or not. My theory, I think the reason she never talks to anyone and is super quiet is because she knows you are like this. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I think she has good reason to Because if anyone's dating you. anyone, they're probably telling the person they're dating that this is happening. Yeah, and they've been <laughs> dating for years. If he's, he's 21 and they've been dating since senior year of high school, two years at least. Wait, wait, I have a new theory after what we've read. Okay. The guy, the guy that's writing this is gay and he really <gasps> wants his friend to be gay. So he's like trying to convince oh, him to not be with her. attractive. That's why I was like, do you talk about your friends and be like, my friend's a yeah. nine. <laughs> I've never heard someone call another guy an eight or a nine. <laughs> I hate people that talk about rankings. No, I don't. Th- yeah, that doesn't make sense. Okay, with that in mind, he always seemed a little bit put off by the joke, so out of respect for him, we stopped telling the jokes in front of him and oh. saved it for the days he wasn't around. That's Which better. Really? Yeah, it's still good to have jokes behind people's backs. That's cool. <laughs> it bugged me, though, the way we could make all the jokes about each other and poke fun at each other, and he was going to be a buzzkill about the girl he was seeing. Unfortunately, this culminated in a night of drinking and fun at one of the boys' houses when I found our old yearbook and pointed to her picture and asked the boys whether he had brain damage why would he shoot down multiple girls who were way sexier for jay that's a weird thing to to do this is so weird man it's weird to find your yearbook and the first thing you do is find your guy's girlfriend to insult her instead of your own picture his picture (sighs) sounds like he's really jealous and in love with you yeah it it does does. (laughs) (laughs) it does feel that and now you've said it it does definitely seem that way and it's who would be thinking about their friend's girlfriend when you open your own yearbook? I, yeah. Also, who, who cares that much again? Also, brain damage is a bit mean. Like, really mean, uh. actually. And in front of E, who was there. I don't think these are the kind of jokes that the kind of friend groups we were talking about earlier make. No. This feels Do like real people make we, these jokes? This feels fake or weird. <laughs> I don't know, man. It might be fake. Some, I don't know. This is, but that would this ruin is, the point of the podcast, so I'd never say it's fake. It's yeah, real. yeah, 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 no. This is sure. like a trilogy in the making of a guy realizing his actual sexuality. Like, this is episode... <gasps> He's going to try and sabotage. Yeah. I yeah, that, no, that's, that's, that's the second movie. That's the second movie. Yeah, he tries, he that, realizes what's happening. He sabotages them. And the third movie is him realizing the guy will never like him back. And then he finds true happiness and love with some other guy. One of the other guys in the friend groups that's also <gasps> probably... Yes! Yeah, which yes! is really beautiful. <laughs> he was sitting right there. He just got up and left the house without talking to anybody. We didn't hear from him for a couple of weeks. I tried to explain it was just jokes, that we were all buttholes sometimes, and that we didn't really mean any of it. I think that he did mean it. I, I, he definitely meant yep. it. Up front, he, he definitely it. thinks that's true. <laughs> 
Also, just not a funny joke. Like, you can learn no. that a joke is not funny if it's not received well, and then you can make new jokes. That's a very good point. If you're if you're interested in it for the humor, you want to you want to be a funny guy. Take the lesson that it's not funny and try yeah. to find funnier jokes. But where was the, the joke? Pills- <laughs> was no, joke there is no that. joke. He was just being serious. Am I the butthole for calling my friend's girlfriend ugly? In front of him? <laughs> yeah, multiple times. And I told him I'd only do it behind his back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bursted out laughing when you said we started doing it behind his back. <laughs> I was like, what? This guy's put up with his friend group for too long. That's my opinion. Yeah, and now he's getting rid of them, which is good. Like, he just needed yeah. something, and that was it. This this was, like, an awful thing to go through, but it's probably good for him to realize, like, yeah, these aren't my actual friends. When E finally reached out to us, it was to tell us that he didn't want to talk to us any longer. That he was planning on proposing to her and that we shouldn't be surprised if we don't get invited to the wedding. Yes. This was, of course, a wake-up call to the group and started an argument. Should we have kept our jokes to ourselves or was E being too touchy? You shouldn't have made the jokes. Yeah. You shouldn't have made the jokes. You shouldn't have made the jokes because they're not jokes, they're just mean. But also you should have then figured out from the fact that it wasn't received well the first time that you should stop doing the joke. Why did this start an argument? Like, what's the argument they're making? What are we arguing over? Yeah, just say you're sorry. Oh my Uh, god. My friends keep making fun of my girlfriend of two years that I want to marry. (laughs) Am I being too touchy? The whole group has made jokes at each other's expense when it comes to weight or height or whatever, and it's never been an issue before. Oh, hold on. Regularly make jokes about weight or height. Yeah, this friend group sucks. I will say, like, when it comes to height, I kind of do like, I, I kind of like being teased about it because I'm short. <gasps> height and weight are too different. Weight is crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And and he says, it's never been an issue before. I can't imagine anyone in that friend group loves to have their weight made fun of. I want someone to the debate. I want a debate. These are two All right, let me see stone, the most Shelby. debatable one. Well, that's, that's like most of them. Oh, can I read one? I want to go. Do you want to read this one? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I, I opened it and I read the last sentence on my screen. <laughs> I, I need you just to hear this one sentence. I swear to God, I'm not cruel. I'm just really big dope. And I read it that I swear to God, I'm not cruel. I'm just dope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not cruel. I'm just it's dope. Which is base. I'm going to say okay now. And you guys can't say okay because I'm reading now. Okay. okay. Am I the butthole for accidentally making a joke about my friend's daughter? What's the joke? <laughs> Well, that's what we'll find out, Shelby. A friend of mine has a wonderful little girl, Tia, who was born with one foot. Oh, this can only... Oh, no. <laughs> this can only... Get... What have you found, Shelby? Tia is a really cool kid, funny and smart. We used to see the family often, but the last year or two have been hard on everyone. We finally got together recently, and I'm pretty sure the friendship is over because I put my foot in my mouth. No. Tell that joke. You're doing it again. You're doing it again. You didn't say that joke. I feel like they're writing this in a certain way. <laughs> I promise it was unintentional. I was just being thoughtless or careless with my words. So Tia's parents have been saving up since Tia was born to buy her top-of-the-line prosthetic foot. They Aww. finally reached their goal, and Tia now has a kick butt foot. <laughs> this, is, this is bait. This is bait. These are all foot-related jokes. She'd been wearing it for about a month when we all got together. Tia was three the last time I saw her. She's almost five now. Like most kids, she's grown a lot since I last saw her. With her new limb, she stands taller. So my stupid butt says to her, Tia, why have you grown a whole foot since the last time I saw you? I really regretted my choice of words. Oh, no, 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 no. I think that'd be fine. Like, I've, I've done things like that, too. Like, obviously, he didn't mean anything. I think funny. Unless think the person's funny, like, if it's yeah. just happened, don't make that joke. If they've had it their entire life, I don't think they want you to be super sensitive around it. I don't so. think that was a joke, though. I think that was, like, genuinely him saying, like, I think you've grown a lot. And he said, grow like a whole a foot. foot. Yeah. But not yeah. meaning foot. I think if the person it's about likes and makes fun, like makes those jokes all the time, then it's fine. Yeah, but there's so many foot related jokes in this thing. It makes me think he did think about it. Did we think it was a joke or did we think he was just talking like normally? Like, oh my God, I haven't seen you in so long. You've grown so much. You've grown a whole... <laughs> do, do you think he actually meant it as like a joke? As uh, in... I can't uh... tell because he did throw in already two other foot jokes he in this say post. Accident- he, I mean, but maybe he's done that just for the write-up to sound funnier. I don't know. Maybe like, now and maybe before he wasn't. He said accidentally in the thing. This first scenario as accident- accidental, I think. And has since thought of more. And has since. <laughs> 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 wow, this hit really well He's like, wait, that's a really good <laughs> joke. <laughs> Tia's parents looked offended, but mm. Tia, bless her heart, was howling with laughter and showed off her new foot. Okay. Which I think if Tia's fine with it, then yeah. it's fine. Yeah. 
Uh, but her parents decided to leave despite my fervent apologies. I truly did not mean to say what I did. <laughs> Tina's dad is only taxi back once to tell me to leave them alone. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> once more, but I think I'm blocked. Even my wife has said apologies, but I think she's blocked too. It's like, God, I, I'm not cruel. I'm just, just really, really dope. Big, dumb, really <laughs> <laughs> and he is, because it's funny. It's, it's a funny joke, and he's dope. I think because Tia thought it was funny. It's, it's up to her game. to decide if, if it's okay yeah. or not. And if she's decided it's okay, anyone else who's uncomfortable has a problem, it's their problem. Yeah, yeah this I is... kind of agree. I think you can be kind of sensitive if, if, if the parents also have to deal with it, I guess, as well. This so one like... being a genuine accident. It is an accident. I think also. it's fine. Yeah, no, I don't think they're yeah. assholes. And he apologized. Like, and he yeah. apologized. It's the first person out of the three you've read me that has apologized. They, mm-hmm. they understand what they've done is wrong. I can imagine Tia having like a really good time about it, making jokes, and but is so like el- elated about her new foot, showing it off. Yeah, yeah, she seems so happy. I think making jokes is a healthy thing, like, and it's not negative. The joke wasn't a negative joke. It kind of just sounds like the was... parents were lame. <laughs> Help me yeah. yeah, maybe just extra sensitive to their child with a prosthetic foot. And they might be worried that their kid would get offended by that, even if the kid's And not, they probably don't want but... people making jokes about her as like a regular, this is okay, and she should feel okay about people making jokes. But it depends on the joke and who's mm-hmm. making it. Also, just weird for them to not accept an apology and to also not see yeah. the like funny side of it when their kid is laughing. And uh, the genuine side of it of how it could happen by accident. Someone in the comments said, not the butthole. I blame Americans for not using the metric system. <laughs> 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 Wait, don't British people use feet too? Feet for and height? inches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's the okay. English's fault. But it's <laughs> was this one enough discussion for you where you could see the parents being touchy about it? I liked this one, but also again, it was too too cut and dry that they were okay ollie just wants want, to yeah. argue with me i That's want what's to really have happening. an argument I thought, this was a, I thought this was a debate podcast <laughs> this one i feel like could go is this a lighthearted joke or did they let it go too far question what does awd mean okay so i didn't know either but it's is it funny if you drive? read this is it it's all wheel drive okay Am I the butthole for lying to my wife as a joke about what AWD means? Which means she didn't know. <laughs> and I didn't know, so I Googled it. I didn't know what the difference between all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive is. Because isn't all of them all four? I don't I know what that means. I also don't know. All-wheel yeah. drive So is, we're not car people. I think all-wheel drive is you have more control over all of them at the same time. So, like, normally when you're in... Well, then four- what's four-wheel when that's all of them? I think four-wheel drive is you're controlling the front wheels more. But I had to Google, I was like, what's the difference? Because does not all imply four? And every car have four wheels. So why Every car has four wheels. <laughs> My wife, who is 27 female, is very into feminism, and I often joke about it, and she does not seem to mind. Like, I believe in equality and all that, and don't criticize her view or anything. My wife has been having car troubles with the My engine. Wife. Sorry. <laughs> My no. wife. <laughs> God, it's just a classic joke, and that's why I'm the comedy podcast. And her mechanic convinced her they were going to get worse and advised her to get another car. I thought it could do more years, but she decided to sell it without getting a second opinion. Her mechanic is actually a woman, and she trusts her for that reason, and she thinks she is a great mechanic. This is going downhill. This is becoming more and more weirdly about feminism, where I thought it was going to be just a joke about cars. If you're going to sell your car, get a second opinion. That's too much money to not get a second opinion on. So H hates women. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) I think it's fair if she has had this mechanic for years, she trusts her. And it's a woman, which maybe between women, she would trust her because a man could maybe take advantage of her not knowing about cars, but she thinks a woman wouldn't be as likely to do that. I think that's all fine. I'm pretty sure I've gotten screwed over at, at yeah. different I just assume every time I go to the garage, know. I'm being screwed over. That's just, no, <laughs> that's just no, no one knows is. aside from the mechanics. I, I don't know if it's that bad of a thing that you don't go for a second opinion, but you just keep bringing up women and feminism. My wife sold her old car and, got, and bought got bought a used one okay am i reading that's not this? your fault am I, yeah You're am i struggling, struggling today buddy no that yeah. one wasn't you okay the rest was i thought i was just going crazy <laughs> i'm gonna zoom in <laughs> you're zooming in but also you can't too read small. King. my wife sold her old car and got bought a used one <laughs> yeah that's his bad <laughs> that was much newer from a lady <laughs> we keep bringing up why, it's oh, yeah, why, i don't think it matters is, which is bad yeah but it's from you, a woman good car only come from bad <laughs> strong man <laughs> She bought it because she fell in love with the color and thought it looked cute. But just for, for to valid. point it out, it's, quote, fell in love with the color and thought it, quote, looked cute. Mm. Yeah, if yeah you say fall, it with the stack Why are they in it? quotes like yeah. that? It is a fine car and I have no issues with it, but it just seemed like an odd reason to get a car to me. I mean, it looking cute 
it shouldn't be an odd reason. No, I am actively only looking for a car that looks cool because I think that cars. Why, why do car companies just not have fun anymore? Yeah, have some fun. Am car I the only, like all the cars look the same? I want a VW Bug because at least they don't look. I the like same. a VW Bug. I, I got a Mini because I thought it was cute, and then they I are found cute. The, but then That's I a great reason to buy a car. Everyone in England has a Mini. This car has an AWD badge on it. And as we were driving back after she bought it, she asked me why it says AWD. I joked and I said it was something they put on and it is a club called the Association of Women Drivers. <laughs> where women get together and talk about their cars and car troubles and help each other. I thought she would realize it was a joke, but she took me seriously so I didn't say anything and tried not to laugh. She said she would consider joining it. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. When we got home, she Googled it and realized I was joking, but she got really upset and called me an a-hole. The joke is fine, but I feel like there's some underlying things going on with this guy because of the amount of yeah. Yeah. times he's mentioned it. <laughs> it. It was the lead up to it was the issue, kind of. Yeah. Like, the joke wasn't even about women and cars at all, necessarily. It was no, just, it was just a funny, know. misleading ruse, which is always yeah. comedy. And I think that's but fine. I don't think that it's funny when you don't tell them it's a joke, ever. When you, but, but when you say something. he was going to. He yeah, said he would. He says he was going to, but he let her go home and Google it. And I don't know how long he would have done it until... I don't like when you leave and you don't tell them it's a joke and they might go and embarrass themselves. No, I disagree because if she's going to go Google it after and you know that, then it, it's going to be funny like seeing their reaction. It lets it simmer. It yeah. lets it simmer and it means that she can talk about it and think about it and then you can be like the ha ha. See, I don't like those jokes. You don't like <laughs> that. <laughs> Sometimes people do these jokes and they don't tell you and they let you find out in the wild after you've in the wild. talked to people. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's a joke. You just lied to them and let them go believe it and waited until they got embarrassed and figured it out. But I think in this situation where he if knows... If he knew, they're just going yeah. straight home. I think the joke is fine, albeit not that funny. It's kind of mid. It's a mid joke, yeah. You know, this joke isn't as much a concern to me as much as he says she's into feminism and I joke about it often. What are those <laughs> jokes? I want to know yeah. what those jokes are. The joke in general, coincidentally, did not make him a butthole. He just happened to also be a butthole. Though. Yeah. <laughs> I like that butthole. Hiding embarrassing notes in my house is a joke because I know my fiance's mum snoops. He said mum, <laughs> but they wrote mom. That's M funny. Mummy. My, my, my so fiance's English. mummy snoops. <laughs> mummy. I bought a house seven years ago and I met my fiance, Al. I, I thought, thought I said AI. AI. Yeah. <laughs> four, that's because we're in the modern day. I met my fiance Al four years ago. This year, he moved in. But as of now, he hasn't moved much stuff in. Right now, 95% of the stuff and furniture in the house is mine. When his mom comes over, she's kind of a snoop. He was used to that. But when she comes to our house, it's so uncomfortable because she's just going through my stuff. What would you guys do if your significant other's mother was snooping through all of your stuff? That is my mother, and it annoys me, so I wouldn't understand if my significant other was like, C -c can she stop? And I'd be like, I wish I could stop her. Yeah, I'd probably have my fiancé talk to her. Yeah, I would, I would say I'm very uncomfortable with this, and I don't like inviting your mother over. When I am bothered, she's like, I would just help him with chores, etc. He says I should just let her because she has a lot of nervous energy. Well, I mean, like, if you don't know what to do and you feel comfortable, like, You just pot helping. her. Yeah, okay, yeah. Fair, fair enough. In my home office, I have a little affirmation post-it note on my monitor saying, I'm smart. I'm skilled. I'm deserving of great things. It's a little silly thing my therapist recommended to get in a confident mindset. Wait, what? Oh, recommended to get me in a confident mindset before an interview. Boys can't read. He shouldn't like his own mom snooping. Maybe he's just used to it from his like home life because maybe yeah, that's, that's just said. how he's been brought up. Anyway, she made a comment to they, she made a comment about my ego. But as a That's joke. That's where <laughs> I would disagree. As a joke, I decided to do it again. I had my friend over and we got wine drunk and wrote a bunch of affirmations to hide. Some were, <laughs> medicine cabinet, my teeth will regrow. I'm shark-like and powerful. <laughs> 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 Kitchen drawers. I know when to spoon, but I also know when to fork. I am sexy and selfish. These are good. These are I great. Like these. Yeah. I want these. These are really good. Walking closet. I'm beautiful with clothes and without, especially without. My boobs are legendary. <laughs> I want to make these. That last one specifically. Next day, my mother-in-law came over and she saw a few. And she didn't acknowledge them to me, even though she definitely started acting a bit weird about me. She confronted Al about the notes. I was trying to tell him that I seemed unstable, egotistical, and moving in was a bad idea. I think that's very telling on what the mother-in-law thinks of her. I, I think know. it's wild to think it's weird what she does in her own home. He asked me about it, and I said that they were just some silly private notes to boost my self-confidence and make myself laugh. How had she gotten them? Had she been going through my things? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. He said she was just hiding and just saw them and they are really weird. Ew, he has no sense of humor either. Yeah, he sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ew, ew. I didn't know if he'd be on her side or not. I was waiting. Because some mm. mother-in-law, some people are mommies, bullies. Little mommy boy, little baby boy. Little, little, little baby boy. Like, little, little baby, baby man. Baby boy. So let my mom clean up. I don't want to do it. She's cleaning up my clothes. Let her do it. <laughs> this is a funny way of of, tra- of tra- entrapping the mother. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> is this entrapment? He said I was making stuff hard for him. His mom was really protective and adjusting him to moving in with a girlfriend for the first time. And I was agitating her on purpose. The thing is, she's just being herself and the mother-in-law isn't getting, isn't liking her. And that's not yeah. her fault. I would immediately be like, hey, can I get some? <laughs> My teeth will regrow. He's not on her side, which is weird. I get the adjustment. And I also kind of get, if this is his first ever girlfriend moving in. There's a difference he... between like helping put away the dishes and going in like the like cabinets. In her to closet see yeah. is wild to me. Who lets their mother just like have this much free roam though? Who's yeah, right. Doing, free range of the Who's wolves? allowing this? Yeah. From this, I get the vibe that he was either living with his mom or he's still living close enough to his mom where she would come yeah. over a lot. Yeah. And he allows this behavior probably also because he benefits from it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. she cleans for him. <laughs> she does the washing and yeah. the cleaning and the ironing too. You know what's crazy? Hmm. Mm-hmm. The mom found the notes and not the guy. That's why I think oh, he's, he's okay just... with it. He's not doing any of those things. Yeah. We, yeah. I was just kind of assuming, but now that like the mom found multiple and he didn't even know they existed is kind of crazy. Would I think him saying that she's being really protective and adjusting to him moving and is agitated and nervous. I think all that's fair. I think the way to respond to that to make her feel better is not to tell your wife to stop being weird. I think no. the way to respond to that is to talk to your mom talk and to your say, mother, yeah. you have to get used to this. You're not going to be able to go through our stuff all the time. We're going and living in our own house. We're growing up. We're adults. As a person who moves out, I, I, I don't know at what age you should be like, I don't know if I want my parents doing my laundry anymore, but that should hit at a certain point. I agree. At some point, do you not want, that's what's you, weird. Do you not want to be doing your own things? You want your mom to be doing that for you all yeah. the time? You little baby man. And surely at some point, his friends would have made fun of him for having his parents doing his laundry. <laughs> we should make fun of men more who don't know how to do laundry. <laughs> True. Well, thank you, Ollie, for joining us. Hey, please, you're talking over a, Shelby. You're talking, um, no, it's fine because I'm going to cut him out. And <laughs> oh, okay. I'll, Ollie, you're talking over all of us. Hi, guys. Thanks for joining my podcast. Sometimes H says stuff and I just eliminate it entirely as if he never was there. I like that. But you never do that to me because I'm the guest. I will be doing it to you. I am the guest now and you will not be (laughs) silencing me. Thank you for listening. (laughs) Thanks for joining us. How do we usually end this? Bye. You should, you should ask what I want to plug. That's what all the other podcasts do. That's what I realized after we did only one. We only have had Sneak be a guest. And after I ended it, I was like, I should have asked him to say like where to find him. So where can people find you, Ollie? Your address? Uh, Twitch.tv, my new house that I'm just moving to right now. But no, Twitch.tv, the Orion Sound, and YouTube. And I don't really do much on either, but I'll be there one day. And uh, we'll see you on some other Monday because... I hope so. It's not every Monday, and it's not every other Monday, but it's some Mondays. It's some Mondays. I'll see you guys in about seven months on a Monday. Bye! On a Monday. Bye!